again welcome to the first session of internal reconstruction of companies it means capital reduction in this video i will explain introduction of capital reduction types of reconstruction and some important points regarding internal reconstruction of companies so first introduction the term reconstruction implies the process followed for reorganization of a company with respect to its capital structure including the reduction of claims of both the shareholders and the creditors of the company reconstruction of company is required when it faces financial problems due to over capitalization or accumulation of operating losses when a company is suffering loss for several past years and suffering from financial difficulties it may go for reconstruction it means when company is suffering from loss since last couple of years then company can think for the reconstruction when company is suffering from the financial crisis then again company can go for the reconstruction so in other words when a company's balance sheet shows huge accumulated losses heavy fictitious and intangible assets or is in financial difficulties or is it over capitalized and then the process of reconstruction is restored see in this meaning it is very clear when company can go for the reconstructions so the conditions for the reconstruction are heavy accumulated losses a big amount for fictitious and intangible assets in the balance sheet and financial difficulties are there then company can think for the reconstruction reconstruction may be internal and external so first external reconstruction when a company is suffering losses for the past several years and facing financial crisis the company can sell its business to another newly formed company actually the new company is formed to take over the assets and liabilities of the old company this process is called external reconstruction it means when existing company can go for the liquidation and new company formed to take over the business of existing company this process is known as external reconstruction in other words external reconstruction refers to the sell of the business of existing company to another company formed for the purpose in other words the term external reconstruction means the winding up of an existing company and registering itself into a new one after rearrangement of its financial position it means existing company can go for the liquidation and it register itself for the rearrangement of financial position of the same company then this process is known as external reconstruction of companies now uh, i will discuss the internal reconstruction internal reconstruction refers to the internal reorganization of the financial structure of a company it is also termed as reorganization 
which permits the existing company to be continued generally share capital is reduced to write off the past accumulated losses of the company so in the internal reconstruction shareholders are ready to reduce their share capital to write off the accumulated losses of the company internal reconstruction is also known as capital reduction capital reduction is the repayment of writing down of company's different classes of capital as a result of large accumulated losses or an excess of fund without profitable use see when company is suffering from the loss since last couple of years then company can think for the internal reconstruction in the internal reconstruction shareholders debenture holders and other stakeholders are ready to reduce their capital and dues and on the other hand with this available fund company can reduce their accumulated losses fictitious assets or intangible assets and this process is known as internal reconstruction of company through capital reduction may be affected when a company passes through a period of financial difficulties accumulated losses or has its assets overvalued it is a scheme of reorganization in which all interested parties in the capital structure voluntarily to sacrifice here all the stakeholders are voluntarily ready to sacrifice their capital to write off the accumulated losses and the fictitious assets or intangible assets they are the company's shareholders debenture holders creditors under internal reconstruction the accumulated trading losses and fictitious assets are written off against the sacrifice made by these interest holders in the form of reduction of paid up value of their interest so this is the meaning of internal reconstruction now situations which call for internal reconstruction of a company first when the capital structure of company is complex and it's required to make it simple second situation when there are huge accumulated losses and it is required to write off these losses to deficit a better position of the company third when a part of the capital is not represented by available tangible assets and fourth when change is required in the face value of shares of the company so that they can become attractive for future investors so these are the situation when company can think for the internal reconstruction now important points for the calculation of practical example two calculations are very important first calculation sources available for capital reduction fund number 2 applications or utilizations of capital reduction fund so first sources of fund when it becomes the sources of capital reduction fund so first condition if reduce in liability side it means any things are there which is available to reduce in the liability side in it becomes the sources of fund for example equity share capital reduced by rupees 3 per share so equity share capital it is in the liability side and if it is reduced we can say it is sources of capital reduction fund number 2 if increase in asset side of balance sheet it means if any assets value increase 
it becomes the sources of fund for example the book value of london building it is 5 lakhs in the adjustment market value of london building is rupees 7 lakh so asset side increase we can say it is sources of fund and direct sources if following balances are available in the balance sheet of the company it becomes the direct sources for the capital reduction fund general reserve security premium dividend equalization fund workers compensation fund capital reserve profit and loss account credit balance other reserves and surplus if any reserves and surplus is given in the balance sheet it becomes the direct sources for the capital reduction fund now the second important point application of funds if increase in liability side if any liability increase it becomes the application of fund suppose in the balance sheet tax liability is rupees 3 lakhs in the adjustment the actual tax liability for the current year is rupees 4 lakhs so it is increase in the liability side it becomes the application of fund number 2 if decrease in asset side suppose if market value of any assets is less than the book value it becomes the application of funds and direct applications if any fictitious assets or intangible assets given in the balance sheet it becomes the applications of fund for example goodwill patent trademark copyright pnl account debit balance preliminary expenses underwriting commission sale discount debenture discount advertisement suspense account or any other fictitious or intangible assets these are the direct applications so two calculations are very important first sources of fund second application of fund so in this video i have explained concept of reconstruction concept of internal reconstruction concept of external reconstruction situations for the internal reconstruction and some important points in the next video i will explain general entries regarding internal reconstruction of company and practical example so thank you very much for watching this video we will meet again in the next video with so take care have a great day once again